What's up, Watch Flyers? David here. We're going to compare the different versions of the American Express Platinum Card. So if you're not familiar, there's more than one version. Just besides the personal and business, there's a few co-branded versions as well. So in this video, I'm going to break down the difference between all of these different American Express Platinum Cards and see which is the best Platinum Card to get. So hands down, the American Express Platinum Card offers the most amount of benefits, more than any other card. Even with the recent changes to the Chase FI Reserve, Platinum Card blows it out of the water with the amount of benefits it offers. So first I'm going to go over the core benefits that each of these versions of the American Express Platinum card share and then I'll go over the differences between each of the cards. So with each of these cards you're going to get five points per dollar at prepaid hotel bookings at amextravel.com. You get a $200 pesky airline incidental fee per year, $100 global entry or TSA pre-check plus airport lounge access so you're going to get the access to Centurion Lounge which is said to be the best lounge in the world as well as escape and airspace lounges so with the platinum card you're allowed to bring in two guests in for free then there's also access to the Delta Sky Club lounge but you could only access this lounge on the same day that you're flying Delta or a partner and Delta does charge an extra cost for guests and then there's priority pass select lounges which means you'll have access to over 1200 lounges around the world and if you are a Amex Platinum card holder then you're allowed to bring in two free guests unlike the Chase FI reserve card you are not allowed to get any credit at restaurants where there is no lounge at the airport with the platinum card and you also get a few different rental car elite status Mara gold status Hilton gold status as well as a few extra protections and perks so now when I go through all of the individual platinum cards they're gonna have all of the core benefits that I just mentioned plus these new benefits that I'm gonna mention now for each card so the first card is gonna be the personal version of the platinum card consumer version just a general one you'll see on the MX website so with this version, you're going to get five points per dollar booked directly with airlines or at amextravel.com and a $200 Uber credit, which you could use $15 per month. And then December, it's $35. And if you don't use Uber, you could just use Uber Eats and get some food out of it. Then a $100 Saks Fifth credit, which is going to be split into two, uh, two six month intervals. So January to June, $50, then July to December, another $50. So these are the benefits of the American Express Platinum card that we're all familiar with. We see it on every blog, every YouTuber is talking about this Platinum card that I just mentioned. Now let's talk about the business version of this Platinum card. So there's only one version of the business Platinum card. So in addition to the core benefits that I mentioned in the beginning of the video with the American Express Platinum business version, you're going to get five points per dollar with flights only booked directly through AmexTravel.com. Unlike the personal version, which you could get it uh, book directly with airlines. You don't have that option with the business version. You get 1.5 points per dollar for any purchase of $5,000 or more. And then you're going to get a 35% pay per points, pay with points rebate for selected airline and for business or first class with any airline, which I think is a pretty cool feature. So whichever airline you select to be your airline of choice for the year, then you get 35% back there for economy or whichever class. But for any other flight it's gonna have to be a business or first class flight in order to get that 35% back and just to be clear American Express wants you to choose an airline for the year but you could actually call up and speak to representative and call and have your airline changed uh, with the list of airlines that they give you. Then you also get a $200 Dell statement credit, which is split into two. So you're going to get $100 from January to June and then another $100 from July to December. So now let's talk about the co-branded versions of the personal platinum card. So there used to be two additional ones. There used to be an Ameriprise version and Mercedes Benz, but those are no longer available, but we'll go over the current versions of the platinum card. First one is going to be the Morgan Stanley version of the American American Express Platinum Card. So in order to be eligible to get this version of the Platinum Card, you're going to need a Morgan Stanley investing account, but it could be the lowest end account. Doesn't have to be a lot and you don't have to have a lot of money in the account. Lowest account will do. So one of the unique benefits of the Morgan Stanley version is that you get an authorized user for free on the Platinum Card. So with the other versions, you have to pay $175 
for three additional authorized users. Even if you only want one, you pay $175. And the great thing about becoming an authorized user is that you're gonna get those core benefits that I mentioned in the beginning of the video. So most importantly, lounge access, if you wanna access Centurion or the other lounges, you just need a, uh, the you just need to become an authorized user on the card. Plus, you're also gonna get Marriott Gold status and Hilton Gold status, as well as the Rental Car Elite status. So to pay that $175, assuming you're gonna use those benefits, it's well worth it, but it comes free with the Morgan Stanley. You could also deposit your American Express membership reward points into your Morgan Stanley account. So you're able to liquidate your membership reward points at one cent per point when you deposit it into your Morgan Stanley investment account. Now, one cent per point is over okay, I guess if you're looking for cash back and you have no other use for those points, but ideally it's best to use transfer partners, which you're gonna get two to seven cents per point, depending on what redemption you do whenever you use those points. Personally, I'm more into the travel aspect of points and getting the most amount of value out of them. So just getting one cent per point, I don't really think is the best way to use these points, but it is a feature of the Morgan Stanley version of this card. Then you're also gonna get a $500 anniversary award spend. So for every $100,000 you spend on the card in the card member year, not the calendar year, you're gonna get $500. Now this isn't an incentive to spend $100,000, but it's more of a benefit if you're gonna do it anyway, because you're only gonna get 0.5 cents per point with this type of reward you're gonna get. So it's more of a reward for being rich rather than an incentive to go for it to try to get. Then there is the $550 annual engagement bonus. To qualify for this, you have to be a member of the Morgan Stanley's Premier Cash Management Program and be a member of Morgan Stanley Reserve Household, which basically means you're gonna need at least $100,000 with Morgan Stanley to get this perk. Next version is the American Express Platinum Card for Schwab. So this comes with a few extra benefits as well. So you could get a $100 statement credit if your qualifying Schwab holdings are equal to or greater than $250,000, and you get a $200 card statement credit if your holdings with Schwab is a million dollars or more. And probably one of the best features of this card is you're able to liquidate these membership reward points at 1.25 cents per point. So basically Basically, if you have 100,000 American Express membership award points valued at 1.25 cents per point, you could get $1,250 deposited into your Schwab account. And this could be for any Schwab account that you have. So if you have a no fee Schwab account, which I think is totally worth it because you get a debit card that has zero ATM fees, no minimums, nothing, best card to get, it's and it's free. Um, so if you have that account, then you're eligible to get this Schwab account and you can liquidate those points at 1.25 cents into that account. So those are the four versions of the American Express Platinum Card. I'm gonna point out some of the main differences between them and which one would be best for you. First, I wanna point out that you're allowed to get every single Platinum Card that I mentioned on this list. And if you're active military, then you could get every Platinum Card on this list and not pay any annual fees. So if you were to get all four of these, the annual fees will come out to $2,245 it may not make sense for the average person because it may be hard to use all the benefits and there's some overlap. But if you are active military, go for all these because you're basically gonna get, a, gonna get thousands of dollars in value and not have to pay any annual fee. Now it doesn't just have to be Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine Corps, or Coast Guard. There are actually a few other uh, service members that are eligible to have the annual fees waived, such as Public Health Service, National Oceanic, and a few others on this list right here on the screen. Also, another really cool feature are the spouses of active duty service members of anyone listed above also get the annual fees waived for their cards as well. So for the active member plus spouse, there's a lot of value. Now, when it comes to the best version of the Platinum card, it really depends. So if we look at the core benefits that I mentioned in the beginning of the video, in terms of spending on these cards, you're only gonna get five points per dollar booked with hotels through mxtravel.com for all of these cards. Which means if you get one of the co-branded versions such as the Schwab or the Morgan Stanley, they're gonna be using this card for everyday purchases, getting one cent per point, which I think is a waste. Now, a great strategy is if you do go for the Schwab version of this card and you have American Express membership reward points with other cards like the gold card or whatever, then you could actually transfer it over to the Schwab card and liquidate them at 1.25 cents per point. Now, when it comes for the sign-up offers of these cards, 
the personal public offers are going to be 60,000. And if you use the card match tool, which I'll have a link to down in the description below, sometimes you could get 100,000 uh, point sign up offer, but that's only for the consumer, the personal version of the platinum card. For the business, it's actually at 75,000 right now public. And if you're looking for an extra authorized user for free, then the Morgan Stanley might be your best option there. And if you want to learn more about the platinum card and all its benefits, you could click either one of these videos over here and I'll see you in the next video.